Hey guys, welcome back. Um, this is our, my first episode of configuring i3 Window Manager. So when you switch over to the i3, this is uh, what you're greeted with. You have your workstations here, and then this is your i3 status. One thing I did uh, modify really quickly is down here where you see the green is your SSD or your wireless. So it because it showed my wireless and what IP address I was, I decided for the sake uh, that I didn't really want to change my IP that I would hide it. So uh, by default, it does show your IP address and what wireless you're on. And the second thing I did modify uh, really quick is I was unable to open up a terminal so what I did was installed Xterm and now I can open it up r regularly so but other than that everything else is default you have no background or sorry you have no wallpaper and you have so many uh, options that you can put down here so time and batteries and properly set I don't have any DHCP or VPNs or that so let's get started um, so first thing you want to do is uh, well first thing we should do is get my icon set that I like which is called the font awesome so let's open up our D menu so it'd be mod D and then let's open up Firefox let's go back to Google and then you just type in font awesome right, right there I will have a description um, I will have this link in the description below so there is the cheat sheet which I will also have in the description below um, because that has all the fonts that you would like so just go home hit download and then just save the file and then just OK so that should save in the downloads folder so let's open up a terminal so mod enter would open up the terminal so you guys are gonna CD into downloads and there you see it right there so to unzip the file you just do unzip font and then for autocomplete you just hit tab and it will complete what you're trying to do you click enter and then if you do an LS to list it out the blue is the unzipped file so we need to move this into the user so um, so you're going to go sudo move font awesome into user sur share fonts and type in your password so now if we go there you'll see it listed right here so that takes care of it once uh, that right there so to put this into it <clears throat> excuse me is we need to uh, edit our config file so let's uh, open up our config so I'm gonna use gedit it just makes it easier and then here and then i3 config so when you first start i3 also uh, it does prompt you to create this uh, in this location and then it will also give you an option to use the Windows key as your mod or the alt key so this to switch between the two you'd either to hit the super key or the Windows key or the alt key as your mod I just made it a default setting as much as I can so we will change it to the alt so if we go into into this let's go full screen so to change the mod key it will be right here so mod 4 is the super key or the windows key and then mod 1 is the alt key and then this is what I changed because for whatever reason uh, mate terminal would not uh, come up for me so I just installed Xterm and I just did bind system mod plus return execute X term so that's what we're using other than that everything else is pretty default so to get our fonts 
to go. Let's go all the way down here till you see the bar. So right now the I3 status is the bar that you see right here. So that's what that is. And if you wanted to change it to the Conkey, just uh, look in my other video, uh, I3 Window Manager plus Conkey, and I explain how to do that. <clears throat> so to do this, let's just scroll down. So you're going to go Fonts, XTF, Cuisine. It's just uh, one. And then Comma, Capital F Font, Capital A for Awesome, and then the size for number nine. So if we save that, let's go back to the font. So say you wanted my first workspace, I've always dedicated it to um, my web browser. So in here, if we look for a world, it should be somewhere in here. I'll just do search. Oh, let's just say we want a Drupal as our... So you're going to right-click, copy. We're going to go back to the i3 uh, config file. And then right when you see the workspaces, right here, you're going to copy and paste it there. So I'd like to do here. And then right here. And save this again. So after that, uh, so after we uh, put in our font, which would be font XFT Cuisine Font Awesome 9, which is the size, and then right down below you see Workspace 1. So if we do this again, Alt or Mod 1, you see the Drupal icon set here. So that's how you do it through the workstation, the work workspaces so because this there's two uh, is probably just a, a glitch here uh, because it just needs to be restarted so next time that you do go into i3 you'll see this one instead of this one so let's go back to the uh, um, our config file so that is to get the fonts correctly so in the second one I will show you uh, where the status bar is and then uh, the config file for the status and then how to uh, what that looks like and how to configure that and then the third and final one we'll do the color scheme uh, and then also the volume and brightness controls so uh, in the next video I will see you later